what is going on guys welcome to a surge video today in this video I'm going to showcase all of the new weapons that they've added which is the fire and ice DLC uh, it is a weapon pack it is for free it came out yesterday for the UK today for America or other countries like that so I'm gonna do a quick review on this so the first weapon we're gonna look at is the MG Caladrium now I'm sorry if I get any of these names wrong they are complete and utter alien like to me so the MG Caladrium is a single hand weapon it has a obviously a fire effect um, the L1 uh, the R1 the R1 R1 L2 is a spin attack and the R2 R2 L1 is a slam this is by far one of the best weapons they've added into the game. It is amazing. It does burst damage of fire when you hit the enemy enough. Um, the Surge did message me on Facebook saying, yes, we do have an effect where if the enemy has it has been hit enough and the health is low enough, it does a burst fire effect, giving you extra damage depending on the weapon uh, that is being held and the level. So this one is level 5 it does about 40 extra damage so that is the MG Caladrium now tomorrow I'll be doing a showcase uh, I'll be telling you where you guys can find these weapons so the second weapon in our arsenal is the oh here they are okay the, the MG Strigil Strigil I don't know you find these in all of these weapons are in central production B R&D uh, resolve labs and endgame areas so uh, so this is the uh, MG Sturgill. They are claw weapons, extremely quick if you mix it with the Lynx gear as well. The R1, R1, R2 is a spin attack and the R2, R2, L, R1 is a backflip. These weapons are really good. They are not my favourite but they are so quick I might actually do a play for on claws so, so yeah. The MD struggle. The second weapon we are going to talk about is called Codename Elise. This is a single rigged weapon. It has a chainsaw effect, as you can see that it's moving. It has a chainsaw effect. It's R1, R1, uh, R1, and R2. Attack is a jab, much like the PAX weapon or any other single rigged weapon. So the R2, R2, and then R1 is a like a fly kick. This to me is not my favourite weapon, I don't really like it that much, um, I would never use this to play through a game, I don't like the single rig weapons, but still, cool weapon, and this one is the codename Elise. So yeah, the next weapon we are going to talk about is the codename Siege Fried. I, I'm sorry if I can't pronounce these, so this weapon is a single handed weapon, it's R1, R1, R2, it's a spin attack. It's R2, R2, R1 is a slam. So it's much like the code name, uh, much like the um, Caladrium. Uh, this is not my favourite weapon either. It has like a little buzzsaw at the bottom there, if you can see it uh, here. It's like a grinder. Um, it is a decent weapon. I love using one handed weapons, so this is like not the, my favourite one, but it is nice. The effects on it look pretty cool. Um, you can see like frost come off it. So that is the. And um, this is the code name uh, Siege Fry. So the next weapon I'm going to talk about is the the uh, MG Vulcan. So the MG Vulcan is a two-handed weapon. It's a slow attack speed. And um, pause the video on the uh, pause the video on the uh, times I click over the weapon. So this is much like the MG Judge, but with fire, and it has look at this it's beautiful it looks so much better than the MG Judge so the R1 R1 R2 is a spin and a slam much like the MG Judge and the R2 R2 R1 is a like a spin around attack so yes this is one of my favorite not one of my favorites but it is up there with my favorites of the new weapons so the MG Vulcan is a decent and amazing looking weapon so, yeah, MG Vulcan. The next weapon I'm going to talk about is called the 
MG Vidrels Vigre Vigres Vigles I don't know. Anyway, this is a single rigged weapon again. It is let's have a look, sorry. Yeah, sorry. It is a medium attack speed stuff like that. So it, it is kinda like the PAX weapon. So this is the R2 attack. The same as the Seagrells or whatever I said. And then another like fly kicking attack. So yeah, this is not one of my favourites either. I don't like the single red weapons, but I am hopefully gonna do a playthrough on them. They look sick. So yeah, you got the flame effects coming off it and the like glow around. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty cool. It's kind of like the PAX weapon and that. So yeah, the MG, MG, uh, <laughs> the figless. I don't know. Uh, so yeah. Now, the other weapon I'm going to talk about is the. Oh, now this is the code name Moonlight. This is my favourite weapon. Look, amazing. Right. So this is a, a, a two-handed weapon. So it's a R1. R1, R2 is a spin, much like the um, MG Judge, and the R2, R2, R1 is a spin again. So this is my favourite weapon. It looks amazing. It's nice. It's it it's chunky, you know, as in like it's it, you know, it's a big weapon. It looks cool. Has effects on it where it's like uh, coming off with frost, uh, cryo weapon, pretty much. So. As you can see there, they have <laughs> they have put the canisters on these weapons, uh, making them do elemental damage, which is amazing. Just the look at it, it looks like handcrafted beautiness. Don't know if that's a word, but I'm going to say it. So yeah, this is my favourite weapon in the DLC that they've added. So yeah, that's the uh, codename Moonlight. Now these are the codename <laughs> codename Zerath Thruster. <coughs> These are claw weapons. These are much like the fire ones. These are quick. They look amazing. So the R2, R2, R1 is a backflip. The R1, R1, R2 is a spin. Now these look so much cooler than the fire ones, I have to say. Look at this. Look, you can see inside of it. Look at that. It has a frost effect coming off it. You see the frost canisters on the top. It looks amazing. Uh, yeah, so this is up there with my favourite weapons as well. Uh, I'm going to have to go through the game with these, I'm not even going to lie. So yeah, this is the uh, Zerathruster codename. So, the next weapon we're going to talk about is... If it comes up... Did I even favourite them? That's the, that's the question. I have favourited them, uh, but you know it's not popping up. So. Next one is the codename Loth... Lothagrin. It is a staff. It looks amazing. It looks like a tail of a scorpion. It's R1, R1, R2. It's a slam kick, you know, like any other staff. The R2, R2, and then R1 is a spin, jab, and then spin again. It, it looks amazing. It's not as good looking as the other ones. It just still had the frost effect coming off it. So, you know, I like the staff, but this is not my favourite one. Um, so, yeah. This is the uh, Lothrigan. I oh, can't. I don't know these names. <laughs> so we've gone through the Search Fry. We've gone through the Moonlight. Blah blah blah. We've gone through that. The next weapon. Now this is not one of my favourites either. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. This is the last weapon on my list as well. This is the MG Ignis. So the MG Ignis is. The most annoying to get because it was in the most obvious place and I missed it on my first playthrough. This is New Game Plus if you don't understand. So, <sighs> this weapon looks amazing. The fire effect on it looks incredible. It has a nice, like, as you see there, the red wire that's pumping the gas into it, making it hot. This looks amazing. So, the R1, R1, R2 is the same as any other stuff. Uh, the R2, R2 is going to be the same as any of the other staffs, so spin, jab, spin. It looks amazing. It is actually decent. Uh, I don't like it because it took me so long to get it. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for the episode, guys. Um, thank you all for watching. If you guys want a tutorial on how where to find these weapons, 
just put it down below um, I'm going to put a video up and yeah so these are all the weapons I'm gonna go through them again so we've got the M oh my god codename Ellie's uh, high impact low attack speed scaling is medium plus 55 energy the Lothragrin medium att impact attack speed medium scaling medium energy gain plus 10% the moonlight which is the best one I'm gonna just leave it there <laughs> Uh, very high impact, low attack speed, scaling's high, energy gain 65. We've got the Siege Fried, medium atta impact, medium attack speed, medium scaling, plus 20 energy. The Zathra Thruster, low impact, very oh, or high attack speed, very high scaling, plus 10% energy. The MG Caladrium low impact, medium attack speed, high scaling, plus 55 energy. The MG Ignis, low, low impact, medium attack speed, high scaling, 45 energy. The MG Strigil, very high, in, uh, very low impact, sorry, high attack speed, low scaling, plus 25 energy. The Viglils, <laughs> High impact, low attack speed, high scaling, plus 80 energy. This is probably the best for the scalings. Um, the MG Vulcan. High impact, low attack speed, low scaling, and a plus 80 energy gain. And that is it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I sure enjoyed making the streams, uh, getting through the game again, trying to find all the weapons. Uh, but yeah, this game is amazing. Go buy it. It's half price on Steam. I think it might be on sale on PS4. I don't know about Xbox. Uh, and this weapon pack is for free. So go get it. The Surge done a great job. I hope you see this video. I doubt it. And um, we have spoken on Facebook earlier. So I hope you like, you know, what I've done. Um, but yeah, this game is amazing, guys. Uh, definitely buy it definitely get this new you know new DLC don't go through the game without having the DLC uh, thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoy remember to like and subscribe um, you know it, it's great I've been I'm up to 70 subscribers you know my views for this video are actually going up pretty high not for this video but for the streams I've got like 200 or something on my first stream it's crazy you know absolutely crazy so yeah guys thank you for all the support I'll see you guys in my next stream, which will probably be tomorrow on this game. Going through the game again and again and again. I want to go up to New Game Plus 7. That is my aim. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.